A West Suburban woman noticed more than $500 disappeared from her bank account. But she couldn't convince the bank to give her the cash back. That's when she reached out to the Morning Insiders. And here's what happened when we got involved. $500 mean a lot to me when I have bills to pay. Patricia Green reached out to us after she says she discovered bogus transactions on her Chime spending account on the south side of Chicago, more than 30 miles from her west suburban home. So I wanted to get to the bottom of it. Green played detective, tracking those transactions to this 7-Eleven. She called the store manager. There was a guy there. He, he just left the ATM and she was willing to show me the footage. Here are the photos of that surveillance video. We blurred the man's face since he's not yet been charged with the crime. Green did file a police report and alerted Chime, an online bank, to the fraud. They emailed me back and they told me that it wasn't an error. So we reached out to Chime. It re-examined the case. I guess it was a different outcome. Green got an email acknowledging an error did occur and more importantly, got her $530 back. Now we still don't know exactly what happened or who that mystery man is on the surveillance photos. Don't know this person, never seen this person. Standard point of sale terminal. So we turn to Professor Fraud, also known as Governor State University Professor William Cressy for some answers. If I place my chip card in there, we do know those ATM withdrawals were known as fallback transactions. That means the machine read the magnetic stripe, not the chip. Those stripes are much easier to clone than chips. And you can drill us. Professor Fraud explained how the bad guys can do it, but we're not sharing that info for obvious reasons. Guess where this sort of scheme is most likely to work? There are still some old standalone ATMs. These are ones that you'll find in a convenience store in a dry cleaner. Just like this one, where Green's transactions took place. Now around the world, many credit cards only have the chip and eventually the United States will move to that because that's more secure. As for Green, she's just grateful to have her money back. Thanks to CBS2 investigation team for helping me out in this situation. And Patricia, we're glad you got your cash back. For more stories like this, download our CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insiders.